What up, it's Esteban at Bamboozle, hanging out with the beautiful Iggy Azalea. What's good up? Good to be here. You just killed the stage, how'd it go? It went so good. Nice. I did not expect it to be like that. Usually when it's festivals and things where it's multiple artists and the right. fan base is so mixed, my experience with that was the XXL Live Showcase. Okay. And it was kind of so dead. I was like, where are my fans? So I was a little nervous. I didn't know what to anticipate coming today, but before I even got on stage, I saw everyone screaming, and I was like, ah, sigh of relief. Nice. It was really fun. I had such a good time. That's awesome. Now, what's the deal? What's your label status? You Grand My Hustle, what's up? label status is Grand Hustle. Nice. Managed by Interscope Steel, by Tip, Grand Hustle, Hustle Gang, all the way. That's what's up. How'd you link with Tip? He's got a friend, he's DJ, that was like, hey, you should check out this girl, Iggy. And what? he was like, find me that girl. Nice. And so funny how they actually found me. They went to my website, uh, one of the guys that works for him, Greg, and he's like, he's just a, a mini genius. Nice. And he went to where you like register your website and see who owns the web page, and it was my manager. And they got his number off there. Oh, he's Don't, savvy. Then. Yeah, very savvy. And called us up and was like, hey, Tip wants to meet you. And I was like, I don't know what for. <laughs> I have my deal all tied up. Right. And I went and met him, and everything kind of blew out of the water and changed nice. from there. But that's how I met him. Awesome. He hunted me down. All right, now tell me about the new EP, Glory. Glory. I always I appreciate your approach to titles. Ignorant art, dope. The new classic, dope. Now, what's Glory mean? Glory is kind of like, uh, after Ignore or Not, it was so, so many mixed emotions and it was so extreme and it really started to weigh me so heavy, especially recording the new classic and I got to a point where I was like, I feel so uninspired and I'm trying to cut this record that's really a lot more serious and there's all these deadlines and things that I'm not used to and I felt like I was just trying to break out of it and that's what you know glory is to me nice. is that and that's why I shut it underwater because I just felt like I'm f***ing, I don't know I'm maybe I'm crazy but I felt like I wanted it to be in like submerged in something and then breaking out of it like like water or being under submerged and then being glorious Nice. Which oh, hopefully, why do I always try to like perceive myself with my titles? I don't know why. I, I'm trying, I guess I'm trying to set the bob and not set myself up for failure. It depends how you look at it. But I think it's really great AP and I just kind of wanted to be able to do something to get a gauge for what people want and what people like for the new classic. And I see so many artists come up and have their mixtapes and then we'll have their album and album cuts are a different feel. It's different to, to a mixtape, definitely different records. So I just want to take baby steps and have it be a stepping stone uh, and, a, and a leeway into the new classic and also a way for me to test the waters and see what people want to hear from me so that I don't give you all an album that you hate because I don't want that. Right. So that's what it's about. And what can we expect? That'll be June 1st will be glory. I'm so excited. I'm nervous because... I'm still waiting to get it all mastered and mixed and every day I'll put a track on or take it off and I'm like obsessive compulsive with everything that I do. I'm a perfectionist, right, super as perfectionist. You should be. So I don't know. I actually just got my record back mastered uh, with Mike Posen and I did it's on there nice. called Flash and I loved it. I hadn't heard it, uh, his version of it. So when he sent it over and he was like, I love this, we have to do more songs together. He's and I was beast, like, man. let me hear it, let me hear it. And he changed it up a little bit from what I had originally sent to him and made it so much crazier. And we both agree we have to film a video to it and I'm gonna do some more songs with him for his stuff. But what's that called? That awesome. Record? It's called Flash. Flash. It's like Sexy Ratchet. I nice. guess that's how you, it's well, like. You mastered Sexy, sexy Ratchet. Ratchet. That's me, that's me. I define Sexy Ratchet. Absolutely. Come on. It's like the beat is so R&B and just smooth. And you know Mike with his voice and it's smooth, but the lyrics are ratchet. Way worse than <laughs> way worse. It makes me look very PG. Wow. I'll tell you that. I'm like, what's this video gonna look like? I don't know. It's gonna have to be very abstract. Word. 
All right, well, let's go enjoy some okay, bamboo. Yeah, come on, you're, you're I only just got here. I haven't seen anything, so we got to get out there. Let's do it. All right, cool. For all your bamboozle news, head over to the Fuse YouTube channel. Me and Iggy, we're going to go kick it.